Flying Eye version 3, Build Marathon, part 2. Wiring up the power distribution and the first test flight. The most annoying part of the build is connecting all the wires to this little 5 volt step up. So let's start with that. I need three ground wires for battery, camera and flight controller. I use pure silicon wire from Hobby King. It says pure copper, pure silicon. Costs 60 cents a meter. A little heat shrink ring to keep them together. Heat that up for a second. And then clamp it in place to solder it against the middle pin of that three pin header. I use some SMD paste that pre-tins the wires and the pins and it contains quite a bit of flux as well. Once the SMD paste turns silvery that means it's hot enough and I can feed in some more solder. And because of all the flux in the paste the solder now runs into the wires. Now heat it up some more until everything is nice and shiny and bam! Now I need two red wires to the input pin, some heat shrink here as well. I solder that to the outside of the pin header so it's as far away as possible from the inner solder joint. Same procedure, clamp it in place. Preparation is everything. If it's lined up properly, if it's fluxed properly, then all you need to do is Hit it with the heat gun. Once I have the two tricky joints done, I usually put some heat shrink over them and sew the, the last single output wire to the remaining pin. Some magic sauce, please. Now pop the pin header into the module. Um, cut it to the right length. And let's fix them up. Solder paste turns into a liquid and then into a metal when you heat it up. So the, that it doesn't run down, I put the PCB as level as possible. seen that a little bit has run down on the edge but it doesn't matter enough has gotten into the hole to attract some solder so let's feed some in here Boop. now while still heating that I can only move the solder to the next and just um, a little bit heat all over done yep looks good all ten done Let's do some flying. So before I put the rest together, see that it all works as intended. Let's give it a little turn. Now for the minimal weight of this camera, it has some remarkable video quality, but it has some limitations. Let me show you what not to do. Point it into the sun. The camera has problems with huge brightness differences within one frame, but also going from bright to dark scenes, it takes some time to adjust. There's a good amount of jello visible here, it's because I didn't balance the props at all, so 
there needs to be done as well. Let's do a climb in that direction with sun to the side. Looks a lot better, but as soon as there's more sky in the frame, all the ground's getting dark again. Now with the sun in the back, see? Same problem. So that happens if you film later during the day. The best time to film with the 8 or 8 lunchtime. So that was the successful first test flight. Coming up next, some PID tuning and prop balancing. Stay tuned.